Hey students, it's Mr. Graziano back again. Hey, I'm gonna show you uh, how to transfer your drawing onto a big sheet of paper now when your drawing's all done. You say, what's Honey Nut Cheerios gotta do with it? You'll see in a minute. Okay, first, so let's say you get your drawing done. Remember, we did a grid before and I transferred this drawing onto here. Now what I wanna do is I wanna transfer my drawing onto this big sheet of uh, pastel paper, okay? So what I need to do first is I need to darken these lines in. Because if I flip this over, I can't see those lines through this paper. So I need to make those lines darker, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is just darken in these lines. Hopefully I'll go pretty quick here. So I'm going to move this out of the way because if I draw on top of here and I darken the lines, I'll put dents in my paper and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to move my pastel paper out of the way. And I'm just going to darken in these lines right now. I'll zoom in a little bit there. They look somewhat dark, but they're not dark enough. So what I'm going to do right now, just darken in the lines. So go over these lines so you can see the main lines in the face that you need to be transferred. Now, you don't have to have every single line drawn, just the major ones that are important that show, you know, outlines of your face and where your eyebrows are and your eyes and things like that, okay? So I'm just going over there. This is just an area of a shadow this here, this area here. Eyebrows somewhat up here, but my eyebrow doesn't have that perfect shape. Here's some little wrinkles here, and all they're important that the wrinkles are in the exact spot. Not really, Okay. So there's my head. Oh, I went in a little too far there. Okay, there's my head. Here's my illustrious uh, locks of hair up here. Okay, here we go. That's just kind of where my hairline is, a little sideburn area there. Uh, here we go, the ear. So on. A little bit of a jawline. Here's my neck here. So on. So I'm darkening the lines, and you're going to see in a minute why that's important. Now, if you remember in the past, what I'm going to do is put pastel over the back of the back side over these lines so I can transfer the drawing onto my pastel paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a light box. Now I don't have a light box here at home and you probably don't either. So an easy thing to use instead of a light box would just be to tape this up on a window so the light from outside is shining through the window. Obviously you would have to do that during the day when it's light out. Uh, if it's at night, you'd have to go outside and put it on the window and turn on the lights inside your house. So the window works great, obviously, during the day. And night's fine, as long as it's not too cold, I guess. Uh, or you could rig up some kind of light box, and that's what I'm going to do temporarily. So I just darkened my lines in, okay? So I don't want to move my camera right now because it would take a lot of futzing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to make my own little light box. I'm going to take Honey Nut Cheerios here. And uh, what do we got there? Uh, we got some rice squares. And this is just a frame of glass that I had in the basement. It was a, a frame with some glass, and I cleaned the glass off a little bit. So I'm making my own light box. Here's a phone. I turned the flashlight on, put the phone underneath. Now, I set this here, and now you can see the lines on the back of my sheet. There's the front of my sheet. There's the back of my sheet, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to transfer this onto this sheet of paper. So I want to pick out a color that's going to show up. Now, since my drawing is going to be in black and white, I'm going to use a gray. So what I did is I picked out the gray and I tested it on this sheet of paper. I just tested it like this and found out, okay, that gray is going to show up pretty well. Now, if you're doing your drawing in pastel, let's say you're doing it in blues, maybe you want to go with a light blue because light blue will show up really nice on here. So I'm going to go with the gray and all I'm going to do is take the side of my pastel and go loosely over the top of these lines. This is the back of my sheet. That's the front, this is the back. So I'm just making sure I hit the lines, okay? So I'm not going like this with a tiny skinny line. I'm just making a big fat line that's gonna cover the entire line. That way I don't miss tracing over it. So you guys that have had me, we've done this before, uh, but I'm just going over it. So I go over those lines with this gray chalk, and like I said, if you're using uh, colored pastels, you know, if you were using all reds, maybe you wanna put pink over the back or something like that. So I'm just doing this right now on the back of my drawing, okay? Over where all the lines are. Remember I had some lines up there in my forehead. Let's go over those like so. You can see, it does not take long at all to get all of the lines. I'm just gonna keep holding it, moving it around, see if I missed anything. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, back up here, I missed this line right up there. A little hard to see that, but up on top there. 
So I went over the back of my drawing with the pastels, okay? Made my own little light box here, okay? But like I said, way easier to just tape it up on the window and do it than use a flashlight and a piece of glass. But if you're doing it at night and you wanna be creative, go ahead and do that. So no longer need my little makeshift light box. Get rid of the light box. Get rid of the rice squares and honey nut cheerio. I just use those to set that out here. Don't need this phone here anymore, okay? Now I'm gonna be transferring it onto this piece of paper. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit now. Nope, or zoom out. So I wanna get it on here, okay? Now, you remember, I only gridded the head because that was a difficult part, but my final drawing, I wanna include my shoulders and the rest of my body here. So I'm gonna place the head in a spot where I'll be able to draw the shoulders. And I'm not gonna bother gridding those because I think I can just draw those on my own, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just pick a spot that I wanna use. I figure I'll be about right there. That way there's room for my shoulders. Matter of fact, if I put it up here, I'll have room for my shoulders and then I'll have an area down below here where I'll be able to test things out, okay? So I'm gonna leave a little test room. So I'm gonna put the head about right there, okay? Let's zoom in just a little bit. And I'm gonna put it right there, and I'm gonna tape it down. You can use masking tape, scotch tape. Here's duct tape, I just don't wanna to go too nuts here. Just put a little bit on two corners, okay? So I got that ready to go. Now what I'm gonna do is go over that with a pencil, okay? Now when you do this, don't press too hard. Because if you press too hard, you will dent the paper underneath it. So what I'm gonna do with my pencil is that I chose a colored pencil, that way I, I know where I've been tracing. Because sometimes you use a regular pencil and you can't remember, you can't see, did I trace over that area already? Because it's already in pencil. So I'm going over and over this in blue, and I'm just gonna lift it up temporarily and see if it's coming out. Now it's hard to see, I'm gonna move it up a little bit, but you can see there are gray lines there, okay? So I just transferred the gray, oh, I moved it. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, try that again, I'm gonna keep the tape up there. Okay, so I just taped two corners, that way I can peel it up and look at it, okay? So once again, I'm gonna go over these lines. You can see, you know, some lines are more important than others. If I'm going over the chin and the mouth, well, I wanna make sure those are in the right spots. But if I'm just putting a line in the shoulder or something, if I'm off a little bit, it's probably not gonna make a very big difference, okay? Now once again, don't press real hard. Just kinda of lift it up and see if it's coming out. Mine's coming out okay. Don't press really hard. If you press really hard, you will dent the paper. Okay? So I'm tracing over this. Shouldn't take me too long here. Hopefully you'll be patient. There we go. Got to get that nostril in there. There's a line by the mouth. Oop, didn't get the mouth in. Like I said, sometimes you, you can't tell what you've done. So that's why I like using a colored pencil because I can kind of see what's blue now and what's not blue. Okay, so I go up here, there's the hairline, a little bit of hair up there. Da, 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 da. This isn't super important, I just wanna know kinda of where that hair is. Okay, here's the top of my head. And once again, I wanna check it. It's hard to see, cause this is gray. If I move it up, you can see the lines are there. Okay, and once again, um, here's kinda of the eyebrowish area. Here's the wrinkles on the head up here. Like I said, if those are off a little bit, I'm sure it'll look just fine. The eye here, that's important I get the eye the right size and the right placement because that's pretty important to a portrait. Okay, and then uh, down here's a shadowed area. This is just an area, a general area that I know I'm gonna have some darker shadows there. Okay, so uh, before I just untape this, just double check to make sure you got all your lines. I know it's hard to see on the video here, but when I zoom up again, you're gonna see that I got some gray lines there, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, this is done. I've got the head transferred, okay? And I'm gonna continue to draw the rest of this. Uh, I'm gonna use some regular lines though, so I'm gonna look at this shirt, and I'm gonna say, okay, here's the neckline again. The neck is right in here, okay? My neck sort of disappears. Here is the collar of my shirt. Kind of comes in this area. It's about like here. Okay, here's my shoulder going off there. Can't make out much over here. It's just my shoulders kind of just curving down like this. Okay, 
And then here's the little collar of my shirt, kind of comes out the little buttoned area, kind of wrinkles and does this. And I can just make out a slight line there. And that's really about all I need right now. Okay? That's about all I need. So I'm going to just draw a line here that tells me where the edge of the page is going to be. And I know now I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to put the edge of my page. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so the edge of my page is going to be about like this. I'll give myself a little extra room here. That way I can always make it smaller. And so right now I know that uh, my portrait's going to be in this area. And all this area down below would be a great area to test things out. I know it's hard to see my face because I did it in gray, but I can see it up close. And if I move it up here, you can see the face that's been on there. I transferred my drawing. So that's how you're going to transfer your drawing. Okay, next video, I'm going to get started on the, the underpainting, the black and white charcoal. Uh, I say underpainting, it might be just black and white, but later if you want to do it in a monochromatic color scheme, you'd go over that black and white with some other colors. So I'm going to start on that next video, and I'll send that in a bit. Take care.